Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Sagittarius. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So Sagittarius, let's take a look at your week ahead. Let's call in your angels and guides. Spirit and Source Energy, Guidance for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Sagittarius. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Messages that Sagittarius need to hear right now, please, spirits. Guidance for Sagittarius. Your energy, Sagittarius, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. You're needing time for you this week, Sagittarius. Self-care is really important. Taking time out, as this card says, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs. But now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. It's really important this week to do that, to really assess whether you are giving too much in a relationship or to a circumstance, maybe to your workplace or to a romantic relationship or maybe to family members or the people that you are nurturing. Um, it's okay to care for others' needs, but... Sometimes we have to take time out to care for our own needs. And that's what Spirit is reminding you to do this week, Sagittarius. You may be in a caring profession where day to day you are caring for others' needs and you're needing to take time for you. Take some time off if that is you, Sagittarius, if you are able to or just or just get back to you in some small way, whether it's um, just taking a bath or um, reading a book you've been waiting to read, just taking that time out for you. Do something that you enjoy, Sagittarius, this week is really important. I'm also seeing someone is thinking about you, Sagittarius. They remember you clearly. They remember you very clearly. You are in the forefront of their minds. Now, this could be a love interest, of course, but it doesn't have to be someone you've come into contact recently and you're in the forefront of their mind and they do remember you clearly. So that's interesting. Perhaps they're going to reach out to you this week. You just have to wait and see. So that's very interesting. Some nice energy to start your reading, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your next card. I love this energy for you, Sag. New beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Perhaps you are thinking about someone. Perhaps there's nostalgia around you. So there's an energy here of letting go of the past. And once you do that, it will unlock the door to your future. Open up new possibilities and opportunities and the abundance that you've been waiting for. Perhaps you, perhaps you remember someone clearly and they're in the forefront of your mind. That may be the case because this card has come up. There's a new beginning for you, Sagittarius. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic because I am getting a sense for some of you, this is an opportunity for work or for life purpose or for following your heart in some way. Something creative is coming up here for you, Sagittarius, this week. You hold the key. Perhaps you've been holding yourself back because of other people's opinions or the situation hasn't been right up until now. To do something creative, step out on your own or to just unlock the door to your creative potential. Learning, education, starting a class or something like this is around some of you as well. But definitely new adventures, new directions await. So I like this energy for you. Let's take a look at your next card. Yes, yeah, Sagittarius, step out in confidence this week. Step out in confidence no matter what you are doing. Your head is held high. Spirit wants you to have your head held high. Anything that's going on that's lower vibrational down here, Sagittarius. Spirit is saying lift your head up beyond this so you can have clarity. 
if you're moving into an unknown situation that maybe you're a bit fearful of or that you are nervous about perhaps, maybe there's a performance or an exam or something like this. You have confidence. You, you have the confidence to overcome those nerves. You actually have the ability, the recall of what needs to be done to have the confidence. So I feel really good results will come towards you. This is your romance card, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your romance cards and see what it says. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So yes, being connected into your heart when it comes to romance and your life in general. This week, Sagittarius, is always a good thing. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. The answer dwells inside you. And maybe that's why spirit is bringing through this energy here of taking time out for you and, and being able to get back to you. Very similar colors on these cards. So I feel that they're connected. Taking time out for you so then you can understand what does dwell in your heart. And you can move forward from that position, from that point. The Eight of Cups. Perhaps you've walked away recently or you've moved away emotionally or mentally from a place, a circumstance, an event in your life, Sagittarius. But I feel that you've done this because you have a passion, you have a purpose elsewhere. Your skills, talents are needed elsewhere. Your creativity is needed elsewhere. Perhaps you haven't really told someone about this. I'm getting an undercover feeling. You're doing it under the cover of darkness. You are directing your energy elsewhere under the cover of darkness. Mm. I feel an energy here and maybe it's necessary. Be discerning with who you share your dreams with. This type of energy. I feel you're on the right track here because we do have the key. There's a new beginning awaiting for you a new adventure letting go of the past or negative circumstances so i feel good energy here around this card for you the two of pentacles means that you're weighing up your options and can also mean this week that you're going to be making a choice making a choice about practical things finances work relationships how things are going to unfold and you're stepping out in confidence with what you decide yeah, so I like this. Okay, let's take a look here at this card. Something needs to end or something has ended, Sagittarius. It could be negative thinking, negative self-talk. It could be an internal thing for you, Sag. Or it might actually be an external circumstance, um, maybe an ending of a relationship, a friendship, a romance. You left a workplace. Um, you're shifting your interests because this card comes straight after. So the energy here is having to let go, to move on. I'm feeling here, we've got this red cloak energy here. I'm feeling that uh, you were stifled by people's opinions, comments, maybe negative comments or um, their words or communication was stifling, it hurt to you. Sagittarius it hurt you but you're actually you stood up again and you walked away from this emotional situation so this may have happened recently for you may happen this week or coming in very soon maybe over the next week or two where you pick yourself up you realize what's going on fully and you move on the page of pentacles it's about study, research, education, getting to know someone, getting to know yourself, getting to know how to do something new. And you're never too old to learn how to do something new if you want to learn how to do it. And so that's what's happening. It might be something small, maybe around the home or just an interest you have in the back of your mind, Sagittarius, a hobby perhaps. It could be on the job training. It may be you're starting off small with a bite-sized piece of mm, education of some kind. This is also a message coming towards you. A message of 
something very grounded, practical, something based in reality, a manifestation. Maybe finances or work related or about the house or home. This is a child or youth or someone younger than you around you as well. Perhaps taking your attention. You have the emperor around you, Sag. So this may be an Aries around you. As this is Aries card. This is a very empowering energy for you, Sagittarius. You're taking some emotions out of it. You're walking away from some emotional situation here to become more empowered in your own life. You're making a choice. You are making a choice that is right for you and you're opening up new doors and new beginnings are arriving for you. You're very solid in your approach. You are very confident. Going back to this card here, very confident as the emperor. This is a father archetype as well. So you may be dealing with your father or a father figure of some kind. You may be tapping into that divine masculine within yourself, Sagittarius. There may also be a father figure or divine masculine energy coming through from spirit, supporting you. So you've got some interesting, wonderful energies coming through Sagittarius this week. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.